All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. We're here with number seven, two, three. Okay, this is teaching us about uh, the quotient rule, about taking the derivative of cosecant, which we did in the previous video. Um, it's also asking us to find the slope of a tangent line at a given point. And most importantly, this problem is just testing to see whether or not we are tough enough to stick it out. And believe me, I've gone through times where I have quit on these types of problems. But the algebra is tough, so you just got to go for it. All right, so y prime is low d high minus high d low all over low low. That's how I remember the quotient rule. So you got uh, low 9 minus cosecant of x times the derivative of the top. The derivative of the top is negative cosecant. times cotangent, okay? So that's low d high minus high d low, so the top, times the derivative of the bottom. Well, the derivative of 9 minus cosecant of x is cosecant of x cotangent of x. all over the denominator squared, low, low. So 9 minus cosecant of x squared. Shout out to my buddy, low, low. I miss him. All right, so now we, look, we are, all we have to do is take this point, take the x value, put it in for x, and whatever we get is our answer. But putting it into this function is so difficult. Okay, so I'm going to clean it up. Maybe you're really good at typing this into your calculator, but I'm not. So we get negative 9 cosecant x cotangent x, okay? And then minus, a minus, so plus cosecant squared x cotangent x, okay? That's this. And then minus... 5 cosecant of x cotangent of x and then um, plus cosecant squared x cotangent x all over 9 minus cosecant of x squared. Okay, so let's see. Nice. Those cancel. Uh-oh, hold on. I swear they canceled the last time I did this. Hmm. Where are they? Let's see. Mm, yes, I see it now. This negative sign, okay? It applies to both of these. Yes, yes, yes. So that's negative 5. That's where we got that negative. It's also negative, so these do cancel. Oh. So you get negative 14 cosecant x cotangent x over 9 minus cosecant of x squared, okay? When you put in the pi over 6 for x, you get cosecant of pi over 6 is positive 2. Cotangent of pi over 6 is radical 3. Cosecant of pi over 6 is 2, so then you get um, 7 squared on the bottom, 9 minus 2, okay? So then you get negative 28 radical 3 over 49, which simplifies to negative 4 radical 3 over 7, okay? Um, 
hope that helps. Boom!